right, so a lot of people ask me what my hitting routine is in the cage. And if I'm being honest, it varies a little bit day by day based on what I'm working on. But uh, for the most part, it starts off with T work, set it up down the middle and working, getting some looseness in the swing and just warming up. So here is a few of those. What percentage would you say your swing is right now? That one's probably 50, 55%. So first swing of the day, you're going a little bit like 50, right? Yeah, not, not too hard at all. Now, a lot of people go straight into the ground, loosening up. Yeah. Is there anything that you do? Uh, for the most part, just trying to work low, making sure that I'm hitting it pretty much below that yellow line back there. And Because uh, I, I got a problem with going up, and sometimes off the tee, it'll, it'll get pop-ups and it'll translate into live pitching. Nice and easy. And how many of those hacks would you take to uh, loosen up? Would you say as many as until I feel good? So usually that's around ten to fifteen. I mean, you've been hit, you've been you worked out today, so are you feeling a little tight? Yeah, a little bit, mainly upper back and uh, quads. That's what's really sore, but just until it feels good enough to move the tee around and still get some quality hacks. That one was loud. <laughs> right on the money. So you keep it in the in your in that middle spot. Just for a few warming up, making sure I'm all good, and then I'll move it around in just a second. Here I'll do this. No, I just was curious. Like that's typically in your warm up. That's where you're gonna stay, middle middle, right? Yeah, just for now. Right for warming up. I got yeah. you. Now that's your goal is to keep it that low. Yeah, right around there. It's okay if it goes up just a little bit, but. We really want to keep it below that top of the net. All right, a few more. We'll take these ones a little bit faster. So now I'm probably going to move it up to like 75, 80. those all right so now I'm gonna move the tea I'm gonna move this plate this plate's annoying get it out of here I'm gonna move the tea so if you're hitting an inside pitch up here I'm gonna move the tea back to where it's kind of inside the front foot here on the inside part of the plate. So the reason I'm doing this is when I'm hitting, I got to keep my hands inside this baseball and drive it right back up the middle. That way I can, I can stay inside, stay compact, and be able to get to that pitch if I'm beat off of live pitching. And if you're beat, what's your plan? Uh, you got to try to not lean back, but kind of speed up the hands. So accelerate your hands forward. Yeah, it'll whip the barrel around. Oops. Whip the barrel around just in time to get there. There's some of those. First take, by the way, we'll see. These are really hard, by the way. All right, so right there. I pulled my hands in a little too far, sliced under, and the ball went up to the top, top right corner of the cage. Not what you want. You want it dead up the middle. So this, show me where your setup would be, where you would typically hit your inside pitch. Inside pitch would be up there. 
Right there. Okay, going for a gap. Yeah. Okay. Now you're bringing it back and in, you're so your beat, yep. and you're driving it up the middle. Yep. Difference. And your goal is to accelerate the hands in there and not create space with your like body. Out going like this or leaning back or doing something weird that's going to cause a bad hit. Better. I'll take that one over the the flare. That one was that was driven for where this pitch is at. Now it's just gotta go a little more to the right. Close. Getting there. So this one I'll probably this like, one you do. Of your drills, yeah. do you think this is one of the harder ones? This is definitely one of the harder ones, but I also feel like it's the one that I benefit from the most. So you you would say like really accelerate the hands. That's the key for this one, right? Yeah. So I'm not going to go too fast where you pull them in and then the barrel whips around, you hook it, or you go over there. You're trying to pull them forward, not forward, crazy in. Whip it, and then the barrel will come around and hit it right up the middle if you do it All right. All right. Let's see if you can do it right. We'll see. You got this, kid. Let's go. They're really hard if you guys are going to try it. Don't get frustrated. There it is. That's like the perfect one. Yellow line, dead center. It's where we want it. So with these, I usually do these until I can do what I just did like five times in a row. So. And do you reset if you're on number four and you shank it? Yeah. I mean, you got to. Don't cheat it. Did you feel a little rushed on your leg kick? Um, I think I may have rushed it a little bit to get it down. So I've got to keep that under control. The hit was good. Just kind of slow it down a little. Two more. Can I do it? So that was three in a row. Yeah, that was three. No pressure. No pressure. I'm going to be kind of bad if I screw this up on the first one. The fifth one's even worse. Lasers. Get them off. All right, now the question is, I'm going to scoot up a little. It's not a question. So now you're making it even harder on yourself. Better. So before it was even, I'm going to go more. This is hard. You got to really accelerate your hands forward. Yep. Not in, I'm not around. Like that. Like that. Pull the hands through. Get the hands Let's through. see it. Let's see it. Oh, I did it. Get out. I did it. That was hard. Good for Just you. Key on not All pulling right. the hands in and don't lean back. Accelerate them in the barrel, little whip around. All right, so did the inside one. Go outside, kind of keep it in the same spot, even with the foot. Now we're working right center gap on the line. So got to keep them on T work. I really like to keep them low. It'll go up a little bit in the soft toss and in uh, live pitching. Stay connected here. That's the key. Don't go around. What we just worked on. Don't do what I just did. Next one. Is what it is. All right, let's fix it. That's what you want to do. Pretty much perfect, right there, huh, bud? That was good. That one was good. This one's kind of just a feel. You gotta do it until it feels like good and consistent. So. And for you, good and consistent means what? Not reaching for the not ball. Not reaching. Not like leaning back and going up, slicing. Just making sure that I feel good and connected all the way through them. So this one doesn't really have a set number of balls, but it's just till I really feel good with it. 
Fiber Rogan. Let's see it. To the last one that I'm gonna do, we're gonna go middle in, in front of the foot, trying to hit a laser in the left center. These ones are usually around five to ten. We'll see. Five to rose the goal. Let's get that up just a little bit. consistent today, I will say. I think I've only had two bad hits so far. Maybe more. I don't know. It's my friend Jeffrey. It's not actually him, it's his, it's his cousin. We took that down, but quick story time. Jeffrey's got hair and we drew a face on him. Call them Jeffrey. All right, left center, three in a row. Make it five in a minute. Oh, you turned. I went around. I went around. So now, do you reset or you just still feel? I reset. I got enough balls in there. One restarting. We got the nice pearl in here. Left center. bring it down just a little. Not a bad hit though. Last so that's one. not a reset? No, that one I feel like I had good mechanics. I just missed a little bit under. So that's not anything to do with mechanics. I just missed it. I know, I know. It's hard to miss on a tee. Last one. Get this one a little lower without going around. Perfect. Alrighty. Now we got to pick them up. All right, so today I worked out at 9 o'clock at Train PMT in Southlake, and uh, I was pretty dead, pretty burned out. But right after that, after I finished working out, I spent like 10, 20 minutes with the Axe Bat Speed Trainers trying to get some bat speed going. And then when I got home, I did like 10, 20 minutes of the Cam Wood Bats. And then when I'm in here, I'll probably take about 5, 10 hacks with this, swinging really hard, trying to get some bat speed while staying consistent with the uh, Cam Wood Bats Hand and Speed Trainers. I already got a ball on the tee. All right, let's see. Right up the middle with the tee, smacking these balls. One. 
little high, I can't bring it down. One of the things that these things really help me with is not going around the ball. It's got this big heavy weight right here. And even though there's a counterbalance here, it still pulls you when you go around. So if I were to go like that, there's no way I'm bringing it back in. So for me, it really helps me focus on staying inside the ball while keeping some good mechanics and hitting the ball hard. That's three. Pick seven. Oddball number seven. Nobody appreciates that number. Last one. Cool. On a soft toss. All right, so one of the reasons that I don't like sitting or standing soft toss is because the ball is coming up at you at an upward angle. And in baseball, you don't see that. So what we're gonna be doing here is sitting overhand throws, not too fast, just kind of the equivalent of a soft toss speed, just overhand so you have that kind of angle coming in that you would see in a game. And then after this, we're going to progress into some live BP with my dad throwing some money ched. Money ched. Money ched. Never heard that word before in your life. Ooh. You saw that instant reaction. Here we go. Reset. What do you think is causing that? I think that's me dropping the barrel early. It's not even worth getting there. Hey. Yeah. I don't want to see this anymore. Stop. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just peed myself. I came right back in my face. Made him flinch. Is gone. That was an inside pitch. My ball. That one's tanked. Just accelerate your hands. Slow them. Slow them down so they get hit out of it. ball you've thrown today.
Okay. Slow it down. You're you're typically going like as fast as you like on the far end of being slow. Okay. You want to be slower. You're on the fast side of slow. Okay. Right? Try and slow everything down, especially when you're working this type of pitching. Slow. It takes me a while too. Best of takes right there, I will admit. Laser. Laser. Jam beat on your hands, and you did it. Did you, I can't see from the I side. I didn't. What? I didn't. You accelerated your hands, was, and that one came up the middle. So that ball was right on top of your hand, and you were still able to send it right back up the middle. Yep. That was some nice work, bro. That was good. Now my dad is going to stand, throw some wide BP. Hopefully we get some pretty consistent pitches. 
But that's a beast that threw my PP, by the way. Knock on wood. Get to. 